Back out at the hide today, guys. Got part two of the Savage Axis PRS heavy barrel rifle build. As you can see, probably one of the biggest things you can see right off the bat as far as upgrades go is going to be the MDT LSS chassis system, which is this piece here. This is one uh, I've always wanted to do a rifle with the chassis, but as most of you guys know, they are crazy expensive. This one this one runs less than $400. It's still expensive, but not quite as expensive as some of the other ones. Some of the features, uh, one thing is you can run any AR buffer tube and run in any AR butt stock. Uh, one thing I have heard a lot of guys say on the pistol grips is you can't use them with a duck bill. This is a Magpul MOE Plus. It worked fine. The duck build did not interfere with the chassis at all. The um, fit and finish of it is great. It went in the chassis perfect. It allows you to tighten down the action to 65 inch pounds, which gives you a really good solid base for the rifle itself. I did go with one of their one of MDT's uh, small rail sections in the front for uh, mounting a bipod. I didn't use the uh, sling swivel that come with it. I'm using one of their. Um, polymer magazines 10 round uh, the magazine works great feeds flawless the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't fall cleanly from the from the magazine well but it's getting better as I've used it some so it'll probably end up clearing up I did go and put a a, a, a Timney trigger in this I've got it breaking at probably around two pounds right now really clean really crisp very nice I uh, went with a, a Southern Ordnance extended bolt handle. Makes the uh, throw really nice, cycle and the action really easy. The um, overall fit and feel of the rifle is absolutely awesome. This is uh, one build that I've kind of been wanting to do for a while since I've seen the uh, heavy barrel axis come out and since MDT off started offering the chassis in that uh, design. I just thought it'd be kind of a neat build, something you don't see every day. But I think it's going to work very well for a PRS style shooting. Uh, I've shot it off some barricades and stuff since I got it in the action and, and it's done well. Even with this kind of comb here, I didn't think it would hook up real well, but it's it's not bad. Uh, you can place against the uh, the uh, magazine, but I don't, didn't really see a need in doing that. The uh, Get the camera here and kind of give you guys a close-up of, of everything and let you guys see and uh, we'll go over some targets too camera here and I'm running a uh, Magpul CTR stock I like the Magpul CTR because you can lock it in gives you a real solid feel um, I'm running one of Magpul's extended uh, butt pads makes the length of pull really nice um, as you can see there's the, uh, the bolt handle magazine um, barrel as well go to the other side here I have to say I absolutely love this rifle so far it shoots absolutely amazing here's uh, the other side of it but it uh, it's done really well so far started uh, earlier today uh, developing a load I already had 65 grain VMAX projectiles here at the house so and they've shot well for me in the past but uh, running the ladder test on them, starting off at jam, then uh, five thousandths off, and then ten thousandths off, uh, with grain weights all Varget powder, 38, 39, 40. Um, the five thousandths off jam seems to be right where I need it to be, which, as you can see, shot that group right there. That's 0.144. This is all shot at 110 yards, and yes, that is three shots. Um, but again, this rifle was $300 out of the box, so granted the chassis and trigger upgrade does cost, but just to go to show you, you don't have to buy a super expensive rifle right off the bat to get good accuracy. And I went ahead today, uh, just a little while ago actually, and shot uh, some different grains weight of the Varget powder with the uh, 5000 soft jam, and here is uh, 38. Not a bad group, 0.931. Uh, this is 38 and a half, 0.687. Not a bad group at all. And there's, this is 30, 
um, 39 grain, oops, and that's a 0 0.604. And best one of the day, 0 0.288. And yes, that is a three shot group as well. That is 39 and a half grain of Varget 65 grain VMAX set at 2.238 OAL, and that is a 5,000th jump, as I said before. And shot this one with 40 grain. Uh, same jump, same OAL. The, uh, and that's 0.415, so less than a half inch. As you can see, the uh, the rifle definitely favors a little bit, a little bit more of the Varget, but uh, I think I found my load. I'm going to do more experimenting with uh, the uh, 39 and a half. I'm probably just going to run it for a while and see how it does. Um, I got some 70 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings also to try in the rifle, but I may or may not even use them. I don't know yet. If it's going to shoot that well and shoot it consistently, I think I'll probably end up going with those or sticking with this stuff right here. Um, stay tuned. I'll get some, um, try and get some video of maybe some 200 yard shots when I get a little bit more time and get some more rounds loaded. But uh, as for right now, I'm super stoked, um, extremely impressed, and really happy with the way it's turned out so far. Um, if you guys got any questions, please feel free to post them up. Be glad to help or glad to answer anything I can. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye.